You guys ready for some detecting? Okay guys, this is today's scenario. It's December the 15th. It's around 55 degrees, feels really nice. Chance of rain. I've got the Liberator running on two-tone mode with my sensitivity on eight. And I've got my V-brake cell on 30. This level and notch are all the way down on zero. So we're gonna see what we can dig out today, guys. Stay with us. Right, I got a relic here that I can remember from my childhood. Get it out of here, guys. This place has got vines like nobody's business. Trying to get it out without tearing it up. That's a really cool find. I'm really pleased with that, guys. Really pleased with that. Those of you that grew up around the coal fields, you know exactly what that is. That's a coal bucket shovel, also an ash shovel to get the ashes out of your stove with. That's really cool. Really cool. Looks like I got a spoon here. Showing up in the 30s. See if it's got any kind of design on it. It's got something on it. <clears throat> Alright guys, let's go on to the next. Got something really small here. Showing up in the 70s. You guys can see it right there. I haven't picked it up yet. It's really small, whatever it is. Don't know what it is yet. Looks like it might be a button. I don't know guys. Let me clean it off a little better and I'll show it to you. That's all it is, it's just a small little aluminum button. Alright, moving on. Alright, got what looks to be a coin here guys. It was showing up in the 60s. Don't know what it is yet. Got a lot of mud on it. Lots of mud. Alright, let me get it cleaned off, guys. Okay, I can tell it's a wheat. You can see the one cent right there. And Abe on this side. And I can see the 19, but I can't see much else. We'll get it cleaned up, guys, and we'll show it to you later. Found this place beside the road, guys. Looks like an old house was here, and there's still a lot of junk left. Found some silverware, some old ceramics. Not silverware, but old ceramics. Already been down through there and didn't find much of anything. So, I uh, can make this way alongside of these rocks. I was just swinging under the rocks, because you never know. Swung right here. Got a decent signal. And look what's in the hole there. <laughs> That's too cool. Looks to be complete too. It says Hawkeye on the side of it. That's a killer find, guys. Killer find. Love finding old cap guns, especially when they're complete. Alright guys, here's the stuff we found. This is stuff we found on the original hunt. 
that's a piece of an, an old cap gun that I found. I'd never found one like that before. It's got a full cylinder inside of it, but that dates back to the 50s or 60s, I think. And this is just a random piece. It looks like a foot or a hoof off of a horse, maybe. Not sure. This is some kind of lighter. There's no name, no markings, anything like that on it. And, of course, mine tags. Got four of them. This is a watch piece. I didn't film a lot of this stuff, guys. Because it's repetitive. It's stuff that I find all the time. This is the wheat penny we found. It's a 1954 wheat. A lead wedge for, for a tool. This spoon we found is a bride silver plate. And that is fairly old, guys. It dates back to the 1920s. It's got a nice pattern on it flower pattern <clears throat> and there's the shovel we found I cleaned it up a lot it's kind of thin you can see the holes in it but the handle is in good shape I still enjoy finding it guys that brings back a lot of memories and these uh, silverware plates are the ones I found and this Hawkeye pistol cat pistol that I found it's really good shape that's the one I found under the rock cliff. That's one of the roadside. Along with these ceramic plates that I found. So it's China. This is a stoneware. It's Marcrest oven proof stoneware. This is from the 50s. This is, I uh, can't remember the name, it's slipping my mind. But it's from the 40s. This is a. Uh, Shenango China from Newcastle, PA. That's from the 40s as well. And this is Harvest USA from the 40s. This one is... It's kind of fragile. It's almost... This is a Firebank Sword Sharon. And it's actually got 22 karat gold gilding in it. When in original shape, guys, this plate here was beautiful. You can see the gold gilding around the edge. But in original form, this was a beautiful plate. These were blue flowers here, and they're they're almost gone. But it's from the same era, 40s, and the cups from the 50s. It's a Westfield, Westfield heat proof coffee. It was called a grandpa's mug. It had a pattern on it originally. You can see it there and it's it's worn off. It actually had a name on it. It said Bill on the side. But when I cleaned it, there it is. You can see it. When I cleaned it, it came off. And then it had a checkered pattern. You could order those monogrammed. Pretty cool stuff, guys. These plates, I really think they're really nice. And we may not use them. They'll probably be displayed but I think they're really super cool. And the finds we had were cool, especially the shovel. I can remember my dad using one of those when I was a kid in the old coal stove we had. Just all in all, good finds. And I appreciate you guys coming along with us. Thanks for the support, guys. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name. Hey, guys. Not finished just yet. Just thought I'd sit down here in front of the fireplace beside the Christmas tree. And uh, I got some mail here that I received. I received this one for Halloween, and I apologize, digging with Deej, for not sharing this sooner. But uh, that's my fault. And also, I got a Christmas card from her. And we uh, were really thankful and appreciative over that. In the Halloween card, she sent me a decal. It says digging with deeds, and I will stick that on my detector. And with the Christmas card, and I'm, I really can't believe she sent me this. It's a Rock's Finnig, a one one Finnig from 1900. So that's cool, and it's in uh, great condition. I'll give you guys close-ups of this. So stick around at the end of this video, and there'll be close-ups of her decal and of this.
finish that she gave me with a beautiful, beautiful finish. And the detail is amazing. So thanks, Deej, for sending that to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the support of our channel. Thanks for all of you guys for watching us. And we'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And also remember that Jesus Christ is the reason we celebrate this holiday. He came. He gave his life for us so that we might have hope. Never forget that, guys. The only hope we have is in Christ. Thanks, guys, for everything you do for my channel and for supporting me. And Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The detail on this coin, guys, is amazing. It's a Duchess Rock one with a German Eagle on the back. Guys, go check out Digging with Deej. Give her some support on her channel.